Hi, and welcome to a flat sheet demo video brought to you by Dark Corporation. In this video, we'll be talking about scene settings. Right here, I have the Piper PA24 example file. We can change a couple of the display settings here under the Scenes tab within the Simulation tree. Right-clicking on Scenes, we can select Settings. We have a couple options available to us. Under the CAD and the Geometry, we have just a couple of settings we can change. In this case, let's go ahead and change the background. Now it gives us a little bit better contrast. In the upper right, we can see that the flight stream logo is being displayed, and that's actually something that the user can toggle. So if you wanted to capture that within your screen or emit it, that is where you can select that. Additionally, a lot of these options available to us within scenes are most helpful in the solver. In this case, I've run the solution for this model up to 81 iterations, and then stopped it prematurely. Right here, I have the default color map selected for everything being displayed. We can change that color map, actually, during or after the solver run, and the user can also scroll with the mouse wheel between all of these options. Right below, we also have the option to reverse the color map, if that's of use. In addition, we have legend settings, just dimensions, thickness, and height. We have some solver options, which are defaulted with the symmetry plane being enabled and the lighting enabled. And the different weight options available to us include strands, which are by default selected. Then we have then the vertices for those strands. And we have octrees available to us. Over here, we have a custom color map setting in which we can set the ranges. So in this case, for right click, go to coefficient of pressure. We can change this to a more reasonable limit for the aircraft. And now I can see my pressure converge if I had the solver running. Now we can change some other things, such as shading, wireframe, and translucency with this model. Clicking the title right here, we'll be able to toggle that for the entire model. However, you can go through between each of the geometric bodies that you have split out from CAD and you could change it by each of those bodies, if that helps any of your visualization needs. Now, over in plots, we can also change the colors and settings over here. So by scrolling back up, we have the plots tab available to us. I can change the background, I can change the grid color, I could also change the marker, size, color, fill, and shape, with the pre-selected shapes available to us. Let's go in here and change the main wing solution. So let's change that to diamond, let's change this to something that might be a little bit brighter. Let's say yes to the fill, increase the size, so I can see it a little bit easier. Let me go ahead and let's change the background as well. There we go. That's a little bit easier to see everything now. I can also change the text if I wanted to, to something that might be a higher contrast. And now everything is available for us to use a screen cap. Now you can use your screen cap with your traditional operating system operations, or we can go ahead and go over here to the left-hand side, Scenes, right-click, and you can say Save Scene as New. So in this case, I've actually captured this window right here for plots, and that is dedicated as Scene 1. You go over to Solver, and I can do the same. The same goes for Geometry and CAD, and the user can actually save all of these scenes. Now what's nice about doing it within Flightstream is that you can save these scenes over here and when the user saves the file from the Flystream environment, all these scenes will persist and keep with all the other files. That way you can select one of these, and then you can right-click scenes, and you can say export to hard copy, in which case you have a bitmap image that you can custom name and place in whatever file location you wish. That makes it very easy to re-export images from different solutions, and that concludes this video demonstrating some of the scene options available within Flystream.